Okay, guys, so first things first, we're going to set the throttles. So in order to set the throttles and set the detents, which are you're going to use them, you have to go to the MacDo. As you can see, we have the MacDo here. I have it aside so you can see how it works with the throttle. And you have to go to options. Click options, then go to page number three with the next key, which is the one over here. Okay, guys? This one here. Okay? So once you're there, you go to controls. Okay, controls, thrust levers. There we go. You have to make sure it says two levers, reverse on stick, and visual cues off. Then you're gonna have this option that says detent zones. Okay, so you click on detent zones. And then you're gonna see that the throttle, when you move it, it has a position. This case is the lever one, right? So we're gonna concentrate on lever one. See? So there we go. As you can see, you have two values. That's a minimum value and a maximum value. This value has to be set up in order to have a range in case, you know, you move the pot. See, sometimes the value will be one. This is inclined. Go to idle, then you move it again. And sometimes there's there's a little difference in the value, okay, where, where, the, where the, the whole effect sensor hits. So in order to maintain this and, and make it work, you have to set a range. So let's let's stay with um, climb as an example. You have to do this for every single handle, for every single detent. So let's go let's go and start with uh, with idle. Right now we're in idle, so it's minus zero point six zero eight. In idle, I've set minus six two to minus zero point five nine. So in the case when it's it's a minus value, you have to set the bigger number here on the left side and the lower number on the right side. So you do it this way. So you go minus 0 0.62 slash minus 0 0.59, okay? This is the way you have to write it. Let's check it out. So this is how you're gonna arrange it. And it's a negative value, okay? The, the, the higher number on the left and the lower number on the right. Okay, and then you click forward idle, and then you go. See, when I move number one, it's gonna stay at idle. Then I can do the same thing with number two. Go to number two, see the values change. It's 0 0.59, 0 0.589. So I can set up a different value. I have it from minus 0 0.58 to, sorry, minus 0 0.61 to minus 0 0.58. So once again, I come here, I write the values. Five, eight. There you go. So you have a range, see? When I move it, it returns to idle, and it has a small range. See, I have a 61 now. So I have a little range so for him to play. Then you have to set for set it for every single D10. So this this was idle. In case let's go to check on a, on a climb. For example, climb. I have from minus uh, sorry from plus 0.31 to 0 0.34. In this case, the lower value goes on the left and the higher value goes on the right. So if I have 0 0.309, which is the position here, I have a range of 0.34. See, when I move it, there's there's when I just slightly move it. There's a, little, there's a little range there. So you have to learn and play with that range. This is the reason for putting these numbers. It's depending on the throttle position value. And this is how you set up the, the trim. So now we're gonna test. I've, I've already set my thrusts here. So we're gonna test them with the, with the system. Okay guys, so we're gonna test the throttles right now. I've just taken off. And um, we're about to go to thrust reduction altitude. So we took off a toga, see, if I go back, there we go, and lever climbs, there we go. See, this is the important thing about the, um, this is about the important thing about having the range, so it doesn't give you a lever asymmetry when you move them, see? So you have to have, there we go, we're in speed. So this is how we set up the detents here in FS Labs. Um, same thing with the flaps. We're going to see flap retraction, see? 
Okay, so I'll move it here. Boop. And flaps are retracting. There we go. We can try speed brakes. We can put speed brakes now. So working on the throttle. Arm switch. So this is how we set up the throttles in uh, FS Labs. Now we're going to go to setting up switches. Check the next video.